Hey, hello, my name is Jan Kašparovič. <laughs> hello, my name is Katarina Gatielova and uh, we are team from the plus minus nula gallery in Julia. So it means plus minus zero. And uh, we are just a very small gallery. And to introduce ourselves, uh, so uh, do you want to say uh, yourself yourself? Yeah, maybe you start. Okay, so I'm curator uh, and who studied fine art and, and art history both and and uh, so now I work in <laughs> now I work in Jivina. I'm not I'm a bit nomad, I'm mostly traveling around and not, not being in Jivina all the time, but who's there all the time and who's really caring all the stuff what's happening in our galleries, you know? Yeah, yeah I, uh, and I'm an artist uh, and I stay after school in Jelina and start with the gallery in 2011. Um, yeah, it was just... Uh, the first was the place. We, my, I start... I'm a co-founder with, uh, with my colleagues from work. Uh, I work for Architectonic Studio and uh, after a few exhibitions with colleagues uh, Top interest about the gallery, and I asked to Marek Adamo, uh, the director of the uh, cultural center in Žilina, Stanica Zariče, to help me with, uh, with the producing of the exhibition in this gallery space. And after, I don't know, four exhibitions, we asked Katarina to help us like a curator, and we start to work with together. Okay, you already told everything in the next four slides, but <laughs> thank you. So basically, as you heard, it was founded in uh, 2011, and uh, the organizational background is this uh, Traxferic NGO, which is an NGO working already for, I think, 16 years in Jelina, and working on, uh, uh, which was founded by this Marek Adamo uh, and, and his friend Robo Blaško and other people and they are still working there on this on more projects. So one of these projects uh, is uh, Plus Minus Gallery. I will tell maybe later more about the other uh, projects we have. So this was the first opening of, of uh, Plus Minus Nula Gallery in May 2011. I wasn't there at the time. but. Uh, it was Arshad Haas uh, exhibition and uh, you can see here that it was really crowded, the gr grand opening of the gallery and it, it was uh, it was because uh, something like this kind of gallery, although the gallery is very small and uh, the program is just simple like uh, changing exhibition and something, this is something which is uh, essentially missing in, in Jelina or was missing before that because there is one uh, institution, one uh, municipality gallery or uh, and uh, then uh, th there was this Stanica Jelina Zariečie but there was nothing like this, like any project space for young art and uh, so, so it kind of fills the gap which was there uh, in Jelina and it super hit the point where what was missing there, so I, I think it's still working on this uh, thing that without our gallery there would, would be almost nothing happening in the fine arts here in, in Jelina. Jelina is like 80,000, uh, the population is 80,000 people and you know, people are quite, live quite well there and, and they need something like this I think, although we fight with the audience a lot, still uh, we manage somehow to get quite good numbers of audience. This was our first uh, space, which was in uh, right in the center of Julina, next to the main square, like like one street next to the square. And it was, as you could, could have seen, uh, it, it was uh, on this picture, it's open to the, it was open, there was a big glass window and two big glass doors open to the street. And uh, it, it's connected also with the name of the gallery. Uh, the level of the floor of the gallery is exactly the same level as on the street. So, as from the architectural ter terminology, uh, 
uh, Janon with his colleagues, they made this uh, name plus minus zero, like the, which is the term for the uh, like street level of the uh, floor. So th this was this gallery. It, uh, they completely reconstructed the space at the time, which was like in quite bad shape, or it was there was yeah, it was it was a gambler uh, like this gambling place before <laughs> with this you know uh, closed glasses or closed windows and. You can see quite a lot of these in Tessin, so you know what I'm speaking about. And it suddenly changed to this kind of, of uh, white cube, super nice gallery with the, this typical floor and, and really nice space, and which was made, mainly work of, from Yano. And this is our new space, last April, it's already a year now. We moved to the new space, which is a uh, smaller, it's uh, 37 meters square meters, uh, and it's it's not on the level of the street anymore. It's a bit deeper, and uh, uh, this space was newly built for this purpose uh, because it was uh, like even smaller. The space was smaller, and it's uh, it was it was part of the uh, Nova Synagoga uh, building. I will show it later, or, or it looks like this, and it, it's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it was formerly from this Nova Synagoga, this bigger institution, it was, it was, a, uh, it was just any uh, small space for any uh, electric installation or something, and we dug it further and like made new uh, ceiling and, and uh, kept the ceiling like this, it's like iron and, and so it's, it's a bit rough this time, no, it's not that white cube and uh, it's quite strong thing that, that there is this ceiling. So this is our new space and this is how it looks from outside and uh, uh, as we have this roof there which you can step on, like uh, uh, we decided to put also some public art pieces on the ceiling of the gallery. So this was the first one last summer. Uh, this was an installation of Marian Gromu, Slovak, uh, uh, Slovak sculptor, who made this, uh, like this, this red communist star falling from the heaven, like, and, and hitting our gallery or something. That the, uh, matter or something. So our uh, main activities are so we uh, make around eight, eight to ten exhibitions each year. Uh, it's, it's the main line and oh, we don't have any big budget and uh, like many more activities, but basically we try to promote this uh, uh, exhibition through other events and uh, we have like artist talks uh, with every next opening of an ex exhibition and uh, so those artists who are coming to Žilina uh, from somewhere else, they are always speaking about their art and they are being introduced to the local public not just by the, the actual work but also presenting their all the works and and their portfolios so people can get in touch. Uh, uh, we have uh, even any other events and uh, we also work with education and non-formal education in the gallery space so this, this is like from the main line, one exhibition of Tomasz Moravec uh, in 2013, in, in spring, like two years ago. So this is the artist, the artist himself, uh, Tomasz Svoboda, speaking about, about his works in the exhibition, like showing, making guided tour through the exhibition. We make also, we bring artists who don't have the exhibition there, who just speak about their art. For example, this is the, uh, we have the cycle of, of, uh, of uh, lectures about new media and technology and art, and this was one one uh, part of this series was in plus minus gallery two weeks ago. This was about bio art and, and uh, nature in, in art and technology, and so it was Michal Shimon and his presentation. Uh, sometimes we we have any other accompanying program or or any other uh, festival coming to our space and, and having one of the venues there. This was the uh, uh, 
dance, dance festival, like oh, Tansu Tansu, which means that dance, dance, and Yaro Vinyarsky dancing, <laughs> dancing in our uh, exhibition. Or uh, this, this was like English lesson in our space, so like some grammar school students, they have, have come and they had their English lesson in our spaces, so they were like speaking in English about our uh, exhibition, which was Boris Sirka exhibition. Uh, how do we choose the uh, exhibition we have, this eight or, or ten exhibitions each year? We try to uh, keep our program uh, in a line that, as, as, as I already mentioned, we are, we are filling in a gap, like there is nothing like this happening in Zhilina, so, so we have to, we feel kind of responsibility uh, for what we present in Zhilina, and uh, we try not to be too much specified or too much uh, focused just on one uh, line of contemporary art, so basically we, uh, we try to have like exhibitions of uh, like all all medias and, and different young artists from different uh, parts of, of uh, the sphere. So this was like painting, traditional painting, Jakub Hoshek, famous uh, Prague artist. This, this is our current exhibition of Martin Spirit, uh, uh, who's, who's like Slovak. Uh, installation artist, sculptor and media artist and, and he made this beautiful tree in our gallery. Uh, so so it's still there, so if you are passing uh, through Zhilina, please stop there and see this exhibition. Uh, this was this was like more of, uh, uh, we work also with designers and we uh, give them uh, the space to make like a uh, fine art exhibition also for designers, which is quite these exhibitions are usually the most interesting ones because uh, because suddenly as these designers get this space and, and you know they are not binded by by the design needs and, and, and uh, clients needs uh, suddenly they make very nice things like this was uh, uh, a group of uh, designers uh, led by Peter Lishkan and they made this exhibition which was which was connected to their work in. Uh, on museum design, and they were using reusing some materials they got from Slovak National Museum, and, and you know in, installing it as as a fine art piece, which was like super nice. Uh, we have also like some media arts exhibition. This was a uh, uh, Luxembourg artist Jeff Desson, uh, who uh, with with his piece Rear Window Loop, which also won Ars Electronica three years ago. And this was like super nice piece. It, it was kind of freeze uh, of small things happening uh, on a wall made, made of Hitchcock's films. And, and this was, uh, although it was, uh, you know, sometimes sometimes we have some problems with media arts because they are not always that well perceived by the general public in, in Zhilina, but sometimes we really hit the point where everyone can understand something and it's happy with it and it was exactly this case where when like you know you can see some old guys watching the piece and it was it was all the time like this that everyone was happy with the piece even if they knew the original uh, piece or in all and it, it was quite it worked really well uh, as, as I already mentioned a few times or, or touched the thing we are really trying to be very not not popular, but we are we are trying to be really clear in what we do. We don't use like many of the contemporary arts terminology or the new speak of, of uh, art criticism and these things. We really even when we write text for the exhibition, we we try to be very uh, clear and very like readable and very understandable and really close as close to general public as possible. So this is our main aim, really to popularize the thing and not, not be uh, elitaristic or something like that. So, so really come as close to people as we can and talk to them, really be very nice to them and, and like very patiently explain what is it about even when they don't understand. So this, we take it as a, you know, uh, as our mission to really popular popularize the thing and, and uh, uh, 
so as, as uh, at the beginning we already mentioned that uh, we are closely connected to uh, two other institution in the uh, in Žilina. So this is Stanica Žilina Zariči, the uh, cultural famous cultural node, which is like really like internationally recognized already, being there for 12 years, and and uh, which is a venue for for all kind of activities and arts and and. Uh, and some uh, community activities, and uh, so there we make like, theater, dance, contemporary dance, uh, music, and, and all, all kind of stuff. And uh, uh, we we try to coordinate the program with the program at Stanislav Zarić here. So we always uh, like check the schedule and don't don't make anything like there. We, we really care that there are no two interesting things happening at the same time in our small town. So, so uh, which is sometimes really tricky because you know when you have like 20 events uh, in one month and, and you just have to fit in with other five programmers in the program, it's super hard. So, so this is quite a tricky part of, of our work. But so far, we we always managed. So this is the uh, one of the part of the venue. It's next next to this building. Is this uh, S2, which is made of beer cranes and, and like uh, straw and, and clay, and, and it's it's theater venue built like uh, unofficially art under the bridge there. So, uh, this is new project, and this is the building uh, our current venue is part of, and. Uh, this is still in reconstruction. It's Nova Synagoga, which is a uh, very uh, interesting modernist building in, in Žilina, probably the most important uh, 20th century monument uh, in, in whole Slovakia because it was built by the architect Peter Beres and uh, throughout the year 19, beginning of 1930s and throughout the year it went through many uh, of reconstructions or, or changing of, of this space and and since 2012 I think uh, this Traxberg NGO we are part of is already working on this uh, project on the reconstruction of this building and transforming it into uh, into Kunsthalle or contemporary arts exhibition space and uh, we already we continue with the reconstruction and always reconstruct something, do there some work, and then make an exhibition. This was the last year exhibition, Dan Perszowski, very nice and big thing, uh, where we all know Dan Perszowski, so, so it was quite uh, important thing for us. And again, now we are starting to, like almost whole year, we'll be reconstructing this building, except of one exhibition, and, and the program is running next to the building in the small space small project space of, of uh, our gallery. Um, what do we plan for the future? We still, like we have already planned uh, next year and, and uh, we, uh, you know, we have like many uh, artists uh, coming to us when wanting to exhibit in our space. We have some things we want to show. I just put one example here. It's uh, in June we'll have an uh, exhibition of John, John Satram who is from Chicago, like media artist from Chicago working with glitches and this stuff and we'll be connected in this uh, project with uh, Festancha Festival which is happening in Stanica and Nova Sinaloga uh, I Of course I forgot to put their uh, slide for money because you know, I don't want to speak <laughs> about that but, <laughs> but uh, as, as Many uh, probably other galleries so far in this blog mentioned in Slovakia. Uh, we are mainly uh, funded by the Ministry of Culture. We are asking for grants from the Ministry of Culture. We have very small grants and very small budget uh, for last two years or three years. We got 7,000 euros. And I hope we will get at least that amount for this year as well. We still don't know, as, as already Susanna said. And uh, we won't know for next two months, I think. And uh, so that, that's the main budget. Then we get for uh, several, 
for some exhibition, some extra money from, from uh, for example, from Erste Stiftung, we have now now some money for some things, or, or Czeske Centrum, they help us sometimes. And we do sometimes also uh, uh, crowdfunding that we are like collecting money for from people coming to our, or, or for the big synagogue project we have, we have like crowd, crowdfunding campaign which is touching also the Plus Minus Gallery. So that's basically it. Well, thank you. Thank you.